Good morning. Uh, I, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while uh, to uh, to juice cranberries. Uh, at this time of the year, they seem to be in the store. I, I, I have seen these loose, which I much rather would buy them loose. Uh, but uh, I happen to see yesterday in the store. Uh, they probably have these more often, but I haven't seen them. I just happened to see this Ocean Spray Fresh Premium Cranberries, and I said to myself, let me give this a try. And cranberries, we all know how the health benefits are, are huge. So, I'm interested to see how much juice I get from one package, a 12 ounce package of cranberries. So, let's go. Let's this is an Omega juicer, masticating juicer, a slow yaw, which uh, is less apt to uh, destroy enzymes from uh, heat friction. <coughs> I wonder how this is going to taste. <laughs> so uh, there should be no problem for this machine to juice these these babies. I just don't think we'll get too much juice out of it. But there's a lot of juice coming out. Fresh, squeezed cranberries. Obviously not organic. Probably not GMO, uh, but they definitely most uh, for sure have chemicals sprayed all over them. So I washed them real good before beforehand. Not getting much juice here. I'm going to try sending them through again. Usually with this juicer, I do send stuff, certain things I send through uh, a number of times to get to squeeze out more juice. The more fibrous something is, the, uh, the more times I could send it through without it clogging up. Now you get soft stuff, it tends to clog this up. So, um... When I make combination juices, uh, I tend to uh, use the leafy, uh, the leafy greens first, and, and I'll put those through two, two times, three times. Then I'll put the apples and and, and the cucumbers, or what have you, the soft stuff last. Okay. See, because if I mix this pulp with soft stuff, it might not want to go through here a second time. I think this will go through a second time. So, let's put it through and see a second time here to see if I'm going to get more juice coming out from this pulp. It's not too much of a problem to, to put this through a second time. So, Let's stick it through. I want to take a look to see down here how much juice is coming out on the second shot. And I'm not getting much juice on the second tr uh, the second go around. So and it's uh, it, it's clogging down. It's clogging, bogging the machine down inside here, clogging up. Although it is. It is going through. So basically, we're done here. And uh, let's see how much juice I got out of a 12 ounce package of cranberries. Not much at all. The other, another juicer, maybe the centrifugal juicer would yield more. I don't know. Not much more. I got exactly 
eight ounces. So you get an eight ounce, eight ounces. That's right. Four eight ounces of cranberry juice from one package, twelve ounce package of cranberries. So let me just taste it, and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Very bitter. Uh, that's surprising, you know. Cranberries are sweet. It's very bitter, but to me, it's not a problem. I use all the time. <laughs> so you can even get to like something this bitter. But you know what you can do? Now what you can do is juice a few apples in here, put the apples, that would sweeten this up, and you'd have cran apple, which is definitely a nice tasting drink to most of us. Should I do that? I just might do that. Uh, but I had planned to make a, an apple juice later on, so maybe I'll just drink this down and, and get the full pungent effect, or the drawing effect of it. Okay, catch you later.